Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Let's start with the news today. Rhode Island reaches $107 MLM appealed settlement with a Teva and Allergen. March 21st, Roger, Rhode Island's Attorney General on Monday, announced settlement he valued as a $107 million against the drug makers. Teva Pharmaceutical Industries and advised allergens you need to resolve claims over their roles in a feeling of an uh, appeal uh, epidemic in the state. Attorney General Peter Narona said the settlements include a $28.5 million in cash, plus the delivery uh, to Rhode Island of anti-overdose treatments, 1 million naloxone sprays, and 67,000 bottles of suboxone pills over 10 years. While no amount of money will ever be enough to undo the harms suffered by Rhode Islanders throughout the ongoing opioid uh, uh, epidemic, these additional uh, recoveries will further support public health's effort to respond to the challenges Narona has said. Israel Beitava, the world's largest uh, generic drug company, called its uh, settlement a critical step forward in getting life-saving treatment to the people who need them. It said it was still actively negotiating a national settlement. Teva Chief Executive Kerr Scrunch told Roger last month the company will likely end up paying $2.7 billion to $3.6 billion in cash and drugs to settle all U.S. state and local government claims. Advice uh, which acquired uh, allergens in 2020 did not immediately respond to a request for comment. The settlement was reached uh, just as a Rhode Island was uh, prepared to uh, take Teva to trial. Jury selections began last week and opening arguments were set to begin on Monday. The Rhode Island's lawsuit is one of more than 3,300 filed by state, local and Native American tribal governments across the country, accusing drug makers of minimizing the addition's uh, risks of uh, opioid uh, pain medications. More than 500,000 people have died to, due to opioid uh, overdoses in the past two decades according to the U.S. Center for Disease Control and Prevention. Rose Island's value Teva contributed a medicines at a $78.5 million. The company reached a similar $225 million settlement recently with a Texas with includes $75 million in contributed drugs. Concern about the value of those drugs have been a sticking point in a Teva's attempt to reach a nationwide settlement agreement. Hunter Skolnick, a lawyer who represents opioid plaintiffs in the other cases, called the use of the least price and smoke and mirror technique that uh, artificially uh, inflates the settlement value. Vincent Greens an attorney who represented Rhode Island in the Teva case said the inclusion of treatment drop will save lives immediately and in the years to come. Rhode Island uh, has a rich own cost settlement from other defendants, giving the state more uh, fle flexibility to accept non cost contribution from Teva Green added. Other defendants in the Rhode Island case settled long before the trail, including the largest U.S. drugs distributors, Mark Hansen Corp., Amherst's uh, Bagan Corp., and uh, Candino Health Inc., though three uh, companies joined a nation nationwide uh, $21 billion settlement. This is the end of our news today. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.